Hi, it's James Mitchell. Welcome to this video on Workshop Software. Really hope you like it and get some great value. Thanks for watching. Hi, welcome to this Workshop Software video. Had a request from a customer, a question from a customer about how to find history quickly. And they were having some problems in relation to it and it wasn't being as efficient as it could be for them. In fact, they were just doing it wrong. So what I wanted to share with you is just in case you've got the same issue, I wanted to show you a really quick and cool way of searching for customer history. So if I go into customers and I find a customer, so I can either search here or here, I'll just search in here. For this instance, I'm gonna bring up ABC Electrical. In here, you scroll down a little bit further, you see the invoices that that customer has. So if I wanted to have a look at the invoice, I can click on this button or just double click on the transaction and it will open up that invoice. And now I could look at the invoice, I could do whatever, I could print it out, for example, that sort of thing. What the customer thought he needed to do is to go and look, for example, at the next invoice. Let's pretend for a second you had the wrong one. You'd need to go back to customers, you'd need to find them again and then go and bring them up and then scroll down to their invoices and pull up the next one. In fact, that's not correct. The easy way is the way I'm about to show you. Let's take a look. So if I go open up an invoice now, and so for example, I want to look at it, print it, whatever I wanted to do. If I wanted to go back and find a different invoice for that customer, all I need to do is click on that customer details at the top here. When I do that, that will take us back to where I was. I can then simply just go and choose a different invoice and open that up and then do whatever I want with that particular invoice. So I simply click on the customer details at the top here, it takes me back into there and away I go. The other cool thing that you can do, so for example, when you're on an invoice and you wanted to do something like, um, you know, edit some customer details or something like that, like if you click on that and you maybe change the address or put in a new phone number or something like that, you can click on save. Just then click the back button in your browser and it will actually take you back to the invoice. Be also interesting to know that you can do that for the vehicle as well. So for example, if this was a new invoice or you know, say for arguments that you didn't have much detail on the vehicle, you can simply click on the details of the vehicle and let's pretend for a second that maybe you didn't have the VIN or you didn't have maybe some of the details of the vehicle. You can type in those details, click on save, click on the back button on your browser and it'll take you back to the invoice. So I'm hoping that that's something that's that little cool tip that's going to make you a little bit more efficient and make workshop software even more usable for you. Hope you like it. Thanks.